the Black Hills and the Badlands of South Dakota, gateways to the American West, with plains dotted with wildlife and amazing landscapes around every corner, it's hard to believe this land has some of the harshest weather in the country. Summer heat regularly scorches in the 90s. And winter temperatures can hover in the negatives with blinding snow. This area is home to the pronghorn. Not the biggest of herbivores at three and a half feet tall, the regal pronghorn had to develop adaptations in order to survive. An example is their incredible vision. With large protruding eyes oriented forward, the pronghorn has their binocular vision. Their superb hearing complements an extremely alert and skittish nature. Pronghorns are herbivores. Their four-chambered stomach allows them to survive on grasses. During the winter, pronghorns eat sagebrush and available plants. And in the summer, they eat cactus, leaves, and more grass. Although some pronghorns reside within a small home range year after year, there are populations that migrate from higher to lower elevations in search of more accessible and nutritious food. Come springtime, many of them head back to higher elevations for safety and viable birthing grounds. Springtime welcomes pronghorn fawns. At about a week old, fawns can generally keep up with the herd and will join them. Perhaps the biggest adaptation of the pronghorn is their ability to outrun pretty much all of their predators. Dating back to prehistoric times, the pronghorn has had to evade the now extinct North American lion, cheetah, and hyena in order to survive. The pronghorn's speed is its best weapon. Aside from its large heart, the pronghorn runs with its mouth open so it can breathe in extra oxygen. They start with a trot, which turns into a run, which turns into a full-on gallop. Speed is critical to the pronghorn. They live in wide open spaces where predators can readily see them. Pronghorns have to outrun those hungry eyes. In terms of conservation status, the pronghorn is currently listed as least concerned. Although their population counts have historically fluctuated, pronghorn numbers have shown a steady comeback in the past few decades. Their key challenges include habitat loss, disruption of their migratory routes, malnutrition, and conflicts with humans. The pronghorn has captured imagination and romance of the American West. It is up to us to preserve this majesty for future generations, so they too might see the pronghorn as icons of the West. The Pronghorn, born to run, built to survive.